<laughs> Good morning. Happy Tuesday. It feels absolutely weird to me that I'm downstairs working. I've been working in my office upstairs for the past five and a half years. So it's a bit of a difference. So yeah, we have a lot going on. Hunter's over there watching his episodes of Bluey before we cut on his learning stuff. I actually downloaded, what is it called? Something mouse. Uh, oh, ABC mouse with uh, Disney. It's a learning curriculum that we have, or we're about to start. So he's over there smiling, looking at Bluey. That's my little baby. If it's loud in here, I'm so sorry. Is that funny? Is that funny, Stinkapoo? I actually like the setup now though. I feel like I can come down here, I made breakfast, um, ate breakfast with Hunter at his table, set him up over here, and now I'm logged in, looking at all my emails. It kind of makes things a little bit easier, and I don't feel like I'm so confined to the upstairs, you know what I mean? But anyway, I'm just checking in uh, for right now. What are you doing, Mr. Man? <laughs> Um, we do have a plumber coming today, oh my goodness, because um, there is a leak in Hunter's shower pipe behind the wall, which is very unusual. We can use his tub, which we use a lot for Hunter, but if you use the shower, it leaks. Like, literally, water leaks from the upstairs bathroom, Hunter's bathroom, to the kitchen over here, over the range. Oh my goodness. So... I'm, I'm interested to see what the plumbers want to say because water, water damage, you never know what's, what can happen. I'm just thinking mold, wood rot, because honestly I don't know how long this has been going on. It just manifested itself. So was there a small leak at first and then it just became this pretty big leak and we're just now seeing it? I don't know. So Al, the plumber, is about to come over. He's been over here plenty of times before when we've had incidents, like one of our valves in the backyard blew and there was just water, the water would not stop. We had to cut the water off to the house. Something happened in the garage, he was over here. He's just a really good person that my mom has known from her job. He's very reasonable with the prices when he comes here. He doesn't try to beat you over the head. I think I called, what's it called? Atomic bomb plumbing one time. And just to come out, it was $200. He charged me $80. Right. But anyway, I'm waiting for him to come and see what's gonna go on. He said he's probably gonna to have to cut down, I guess it's called the sheet rock or something like that. I think that's what it's called. On the, in the closet that is behind his shower. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> we'll see how that goes, oh my goodness. But anyway, just checking in. I'll pop in with you a little bit later. All right, you guys, I am on my lunch break. Hunter is already in his bed. He's taking his nap. I am currently catching up on my YouTube videos because I haven't really been watching YouTube lately, but right now I'm watching LaDonna on YouTube. <laughs> I did not see this video. It didn't come up on my feed, but this is her wash day henna treatment for regrow and a regrow hair from hair loss. So I'm watching this one. And Mr. Al left about an hour ago. And thankfully, he said that I did not have. Uh, a really bad issue upstairs and I'm super grateful because oh my gosh I was dreading maybe mold or damage to some some beams behind the wall I don't know because I really didn't know how long um, this was going on for it just really presented itself within the last week or two so we're doing pretty good there and he fixed what he had to fix he put some silicone I guess there was a hole in a different area so there wasn't a hole in the pipe there wasn't a hole in one of the pipes for um, hunter's actual shower it was just water leaking behind the knob yeah child if i gotta explain to you you're not gonna know what i'm talking about <laughs> let's just say everything looks good now and is in working order i don't have any molds i don't have any structural damage due to um due to the water so I'm very grateful and he charged me a very, very, very fair price. So 
shout out to Mr. Al. I have about another 30 minutes left on my lunch break and then I have a meeting at two and that's it for the day, really. Ooh, as you can see, mm, I am tired. So I think I'm just gonna continue to watch my YouTube videos that I've missed. And yeah, that'll be my day. I only have one more, one more meeting today. It's an hour long meeting. Um, I have to set up some one-on-ones with my folks because I haven't talked to them yet this month. And that's it. The day will be over with. And I can just come and sit down and relax with Miss Ava in here. She's doing so good. She's very active today. I know I keep saying that she's a lot more active than Hunter. And then that's because she is, child. She is moving right now. She's right here, which I'm surprised about because I'm laying on my side. Normally, she'll kind of like whatever side I'm laying on, she'll settle down here but she is up and about she's right here oh man it's crazy like i'm six months pregnant already that's crazy as of yesterday actually this this time it's just been going by so fast it's so wild to me and in just three more months my girl will be here. Like, that's crazy. I keep I keep thinking about that. And I'm like, wow. This has been just an amazing experience. And the time has just been going by so fast. Oh, I did get my Amazon package. We're going to um, wallpaper Ava's room like we did Hunter's. Um, of course, it's a different type of wallpaper. But um, we're going to do that. Mm, this weekend maybe next weekend we'll see but I'm excited we're finally getting her room ready <gasps> sorry <laughs> I'm tired y'all my body's tired I'm tired we we tired but anyway all right I'll check in later what is going on you guys it's been a couple days and i think the last time i spoke to y'all i was saying that mr al had came and fixed the leak well that wasn't completely true <laughs> so later on that night uh, me and josh went ahead and tested out the tub and water was still flowing so i texted him and he came back today. He found that in my tub area, I have a bar that you can put your washcloths and stuff on. That bar that connects to the tub had like maybe a hole or a leak. So whenever the shower head would hit the bar, water was going behind the tub, leaking and all of that, which was causing the water to actually come down through here because the tub is, um, kind of above the kitchen in, in a way, halfway. So they cut some holes in my guest bedroom or what will be Ava's bedroom and they saw all of that and we made sure that there was no mold back there, there was no rot in any of the beams. Thank goodness that we didn't have any of that. So they plugged the hole I forgot what they used something in there they said it was, it's gonna hold for about 10 years um, and then uh, later on we're gonna go to Home Depot or Lowe's to get the strips and mud so we can patch that those holes back up because there's um, one one two I think there's three holes in the wall upstairs in my old office so we're gonna do that this weekend hopefully we always say we're gonna do something we just don't do it and then we're gonna try to get the trim that's in that room off because Ava's uh, wallpaper I believe I told you this the other day too came so we're gonna put her wallpaper up either this weekend or the following weekend Josh is gonna be gone um, for a work conference next the, all next week <clears throat> so we're not gonna do it next week but the following weekend, we'll probably get that done. So we have a lot to get done, but y'all, I am so grateful because I was internally just driving myself nuts on how much this is gonna cost. <laughs> like, because when I called my in, my home insurance, 
they said that the home insurance covers damage caused by water, right? But they don't cover pipes, like burst pipes. They do not cover mold and they don't cover beams, so rot. <clears throat> so I'm like, all of these things um, potentially can be caused by water. Am I, am I wrong? But you're telling me that rot and mold isn't covered. So I'm like, okay. So I'm like just calculating in my head, like how much is this really going to cost us? But it's not going to cost us that much. So I'm pretty happy about that. We are planning on remodeling that bathroom sometime down the, down the road anyway. So that's all good. Um, what else? I'm about to leave to go to um, my glucose appointment. If you all remember back when I had um, Hunter, I, well, they told me I was on the verge of being, was it pre-diabetic with Hunter? And come to find out, I wasn't. So we're gonna do that test again. This is the one hour test. So hopefully that comes back really good and I don't have to go back for a second time for the four hour test, you know? So yeah, we're gonna do that. I'm getting my bag packed because I need to have something to do while I'm there. So I'm gonna try to edit a vlog. I'm gonna take my laptop, my headphones, my um, battery pack, and I need to do some research while I'm there as well as to what other things I should add to my shop. And I'm so grateful for everybody who has bought items from my shop. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. Every day, my orders are going up and up and up. So I really want to thank everybody personally. Thank you so much for really supporting us and and man, it just makes me feel so good. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not gonna get all emotional because you know I can do that, but I'm not gonna do it, okay? I'm not gonna do it. But anyway, let me um, get all packed up and then on the road because I need to be there. What time is it? I need to be there really by three o'clock. It's 2.53, so I got a lot of time. I live across the street, 2.53. So anyway, let me get some more water. Let me get some snacks. <laughs> Let me get some snacks. Oh, you guys, I have been ordering, and I've been late on this. What's it called? Shein? 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 Whatever. <clears throat> I ordered some clothes from Shein, or however you say it, um, a couple weeks ago, and I liked everything that I purchased. Everything was really lightweight, very comfortable. It's not holding me, like, you know what I'm saying? It's not too tight. So I decided to order some more stuff off of their website and this came and oh my gosh it is so 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 soft lightweight very stretchy and it's you know of course it's for maternity wear anyway but i love it boom very stretchy this like gets bigger as i get bigger um there is a band like here y'all you can see right there but you can adjust the band here to make it smaller or bigger, you know, as I grow. So I might order some more stuff. I end up this time around getting like 13 outfits. I got some dresses, I got some um, body suits. I got a lot of stuff like this, different colors. And it was all really inexpensive. And when I tried everything on, everything fit me. Except for I, I bought a dress too. It doesn't really fit, fit my type of body shape. So I will probably send that back, but the dress itself is very beautiful. Anyway, I'm late on that. I really am. But I just had to let you know because who else has shopped from there? Y'all didn't tell me. Y'all didn't tell me. Jeez. But anyway, I'm talking on a deaf. I'm losing my breath, all of that. And I need to be on a road. So let me get out of here. It has been a couple days since we spoke and I honestly do not know where we left off last. <laughs> so I want to give you a brief update and hope that I'm not um, going over a whole lot of stuff that I've already talked about. So Mr. Al came back over on Friday and he um, fixed the shower leak. Come to find out behind our tub there was a leak 
Um, so he just plugged that in. There was no leak in um, any of the pipes or anything like that. So I'm very grateful about that. They took some of the wall down in Ava's room to see if there was any mold. And there's absolutely no mold. And I'm ecstatic about that. So all in all, we are really blessed. <laughs> we are so blessed. It doesn't even make no sense. So actually I need to call my homeowner's insurance back so I can let them know that um, they can go ahead and close the claim because there's no real issue here there's no mold there's no nothing and hopefully it doesn't go against me because i've heard if you put in too many claims that they will drop you even though i didn't utilize my claim I, they didn't pay out any money i really don't know how actually that works so i'm going to hold my breath there what is that oh it's nothing uh, I just put Hunter down uh, for his nap and I just went on my break as well. I was going to go upstairs, um, post another listing on my shop and then edit a video. Um, but I decided to come out here and talk to you guys and of, of course let the dogs out as well because they needed to go to the bathroom. What else? Um, Miss Ava, she is bumping today. Okay, it's another one of the outfits that I got from Shin or Shin or whatever, however you say it. Uh, Josh does not like this color. He does, He's not a fan of tie-dye, but it is so comfortable. And of course, you're supposed to wear like a, a good bra with it, but I'm at home. So I have a sports bra on, but it is so comfortable. It really feels like there's nothing on. It's so light. It's smooth. I can breathe in it. And the best part, I think this one was like six or seven dollars. You can't beat it, okay? You can't beat it with a stick. And again, I, I want to buy clothes uh, that I can actually feel good in while I'm pregnant, but I don't want to spend too much money because this is the last time <laughs> we're going to be pregnant. I know I said that last time, but this is the last time that we're going to be pregnant. So I don't want to spend too much money on clothes, you know what I mean? But anyway, for what I got and how it feels. I'm absolutely loving it. Um, on Friday, I went and got my glucose or glucola test. I'm probably saying that wrong, but whatever. That was an ordeal. <laughs> this was the one hour and not the three hour. Um, thankfully, I don't believe I have to go back for the three hour. I've got the results back the very next day and I'm within range. So. Your girl doesn't have to do the three hour test. Of course, the doctor's office has not called and told me that. I'm just reading the results on my LabCorp um, app. And it, for me, it looks like uh, normal range. However, y'all, you know that I have to go through drama every time I get my blood drawn. Man, they, they, you can't even see it, but they got me. They um, stuck me four times in this arm and then they got me one time in this arm because they could not get my vein. And this is crazy because I actually asked for a different nurse or different phlebotomist to take my blood and the new nurse couldn't get it. I don't know if she was nervous or what, but I know when she called my name to come in the back, she kind of had like a attitude. And I was like, Lord have mercy. It is going to be an ordeal and it was so the new nurse brought in a third nurse to help her <laughs> and I'm just like I don't know how long I can go through this because it's just no fun it's no fun and I did ask like is there um, something in your records or in your computers that can tell you who previously took my blood because because the previous people um, prior to the girl who's been taking my blood this go round since I've been pregnant have been able to get my vein like there was this one guy he was super nice got it with no problem there was another girl they, she was a temp that came in and got my blood no problem I went to a lab corp brick and mortar and they got my blood no problem it's the people in this office and it's like they really act like they're irritated because they can't get my blood i'm like i'm irritated y'all sticking me multiple times y'all blowing my veins like the bruises have gone down quite a bit but 
they have they blew two of my veins and then the um the second nurse who came in tried to go through one vein twice ciao but anyway long story short they got my blood everything was good and what else uh, that's really all that's been going on. Josh is gone this week. He went to Northern Virginia for a work conference. He'll be back, I believe, Friday afternoon. And I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I miss my hubby. This time I do. Sometimes I'm okay with him leaving for a week. I get the bed to myself. And I get to stretch out and stuff like that. I don't hear snoring in the middle of the night. You know? But I don't know. Last night he left yesterday, and then last night I'm like, I miss my boo. So I'm ready for him to come home already. Hunter hasn't realized that he's not home yet and hasn't come home, but I already know it's going to be like maybe tomorrow he's going to realize that you know daddy hasn't been home and it's going to be an issue. So but anyway, I just wanted to give an update. My babies are outside. Uh, Duke and Chance going to the bathroom. They're actually, no they're not. I'm lying. They're sunbathing right now. It's supposed to be a heat advisory today. It's supposed to be uh, 96 degrees. I'm not sure what the heat index is supposed to be, but it feels actually pretty good right now. Uh, well, I do anyway. I, or I feel like it feels good anyway. But anyway, I'm not gonna talk out of depth. I'm gonna go upstairs post an item on my shop my Etsy shop y'all speaking of that I don't know how to say thank you enough every day more and more orders come in and I I just feel I don't know blessed grateful y'all are amazing I know it's not everybody from my channel and there's other people who you know buy things too but thank you everyone who watched my videos and you have purchased something from my shop because y'all are really making me feel so good <laughs> seriously I feel so blessed but anyway yeah I'm gonna go upstairs post another um, item on my shop do some vlog editing because I'm two videos behind I should have posted a video last week I just been so like tired I have been really tired but anyway uh, I'm gonna let y'all go if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe comment and I will see you all later bye